Hello and welcome to this video on how to use Google Virtual Machine Instances to run Python scripts with Selenium on the cloud, as well as using Selenium wire and proxy rotation to make sure your scraper always avoids bot protection. I'm making this tutorial as there is no comprehensive tutorial online that shows you how to run Selenium in headed or GUI mode, which is needed when scraping certain websites. Before we begin, please note the following disclaimer. Web scraping involves the extraction of data from websites, and it has a variety of applications across many industries. However, it's important to note that the legality of web scraping can be a complex issue. It often depends on the specific circumstances, the website being scraped, the data being obtained, and the jurisdiction you are in. In this video, we aim to educate and share knowledge about the technical aspects of web scraping. However, we do not endorse or recommend scraping websites without explicit permission or in violation of their terms of service. Always remember to respect privacy, terms of service, and copyright laws. It is your responsibility to understand and adhere to any legal obligations you might have. If you're uncertain, please consult with a legal expert before proceeding with web scraping activities. Remember, the knowledge shared in this video should be used responsibly and ethically. This tutorial will first show you how to create a Google Virtual Machine instance, then we will install Python and the required packages on the virtual machine. After that we register for our proxy provider Luna Proxy in order to use their rotating residential proxies. Let's get started. First we're going to create our Google Virtual Machine instance. Head to the Google Cloud Console and then find the Compute Engine API. Enable this and select your billing account. Once this is enabled, you can start to create your instance. Click on Create Instance and you will be taken to another page. Here you can give your instance a name, set its region and zone, and then configure the machine to your liking. As you can see, you can go all the way up to 176 vCPU with 704 GB memory, but for our use case, we'll stick to a 4 vCPU 16 GB memory machine, which if we run continuously, will cost us around $153 per month. This machine setup will handle 20 simultaneous Selenium browsers with ease, but if you are planning on using less, you can opt for a lower generation machine with less vCPU and memory. Scroll down to the boot disk section and change this to a Windows Server operating system and keep the version as 2022 data center. Scroll to the bottom and click Create and then wait for your VM to be ready. Under the Connect column, select the drop down and click Set Windows Password. Here you can keep the user the same or change it. Then copy your password as we will need this in the next step. What we will do now is connect to this virtual machine using Microsoft Remote Desktop. For Windows devices this may be automatically installed, but for Mac OS, you can download from the App Store. Once installed, download the RDP file and then open this. Add in your username and password and then you should be connected to your virtual machine. Now we will install Chrome, Chrome Driver, Python and Versus Code. Let's start by downloading Chrome. Once it is installed, find out which version you have by clicking the three dots, then help, then about Google Chrome. We have version 114.0.57, so we will need to find a Chrome driver that is the same version. Head to the Chrome driver website and find a similar version, then download the Win32 zip file, then extract. We will use this later on once Python is installed. Next, download VS Code. and finally download Python. We are using version 3.10 for this tutorial as Selenium Wire does not currently work with version 3.11. Find the download page that has a 64-bit Windows installer, then download that. Make sure to customize the installation and install Python for all users and make sure that add Python to environment variables is checked. Once installed, disable the path length limit and then you are finished. Next, open your file window, navigate to this PC. Press View in the top section, then check to view hidden files. Navigate through your local disk, program files, Python 3.10, scripts and then drag your chromedriver.exe file into here. Now open the command prompt and test that both Python and pip are installed globally. Our next step is to use pip to install Selenium, Selenium Wire, and Broadlopy. Selenium is what we use for browser automation. Selenium Wire is a package that extends Selenium to offer extra functionality such as proxy support, which we will be using. And Broadlopy is needed for Selenium Wire to work, otherwise you may encounter an error. 
Now we can open VS Code and paste in our template file, which you can find a link to in the description of this video. Also open up a command prompt to the right and navigate to the documents folder by typing cd documents. Save the python file called main.py http colon slash slash main.py in the documents folder. To give you an overview of this python file, we first import the selenium web driver, options and service. We then set our proxy options using the authentication which I will show you in the next step. We specify the driver path create a service and then create an instance of our driver before making a request to Google. This is a very straightforward example but should give you the bare bones of what you need to rotate proxies in order to avoid bot detection. Next we need to purchase some bandwidth from a residential proxy provider. For our example, I will use Luna Proxy as they're the cheapest provider I can find, with their starter package coming out at $3 per gigabyte, whereas other bigger platforms such as Smart Proxy, costing $8.50 per gigabyte and Oxalabs starting at $15 per GB are very expensive. Luna Proxy also becomes very cheap when you scale up to for example, 1000 gigabytes for 85 cents per gigabyte. Once you have purchased your bandwidth, head to the Luna Proxy dashboard. Under Proxy on the left hand side, select Get Proxy and then User and Pass Off. Here you can find your username and password, or create a sub-user if you wish. Next step is to select the country and IP mode. To ensure every request goes through a different proxy server, make sure IP mode is set to rotation IP. We will leave the country as global for now. Copy your host, username and password and enter this in your Python file. You can now run your file by typing python main.py in the command prompt. Note that I made a mistake here, so remove the options from line 22 in the file. Run the script again and your browser should navigate to Google. This is now working and the request has been made through your proxy server. The final thing to show you is how to run multiple Python files at once by creating a bat file. Open a new text file in VS Code. Paste in the bat script that you can find in the link below. What this does is open 20 command prompts with a 5 second delay and then run the main.py script in each. This is useful if you want to run many scrapers in parallel off one machine. One final thing to show you is the monitoring of your virtual machine. Back on the Google Cloud Console, if you view monitoring of your instance, you will get all sorts of stats on CPU usage, network traffic and much more. Well, this is where the tutorial ends. Hopefully you have enough knowledge now to run Selenium in GUI mode using Google Virtual Machines, and you also know how to use an external service to rotate your proxies with each request. You can now run scripts continuously on a virtual machine. If you like this video then please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments how this tutorial was for you. See you in the next video.